Australia, home of the possum, cool surfer dudes, strange lingo, now worries mate, fair dinkum, lots of sunshine and the Bonza Barrier Reef. It's the biggest, most spectacular coral reef in the world, and what's more, every creature is linked to another. Just imagine one huge family tree dating back 18 million years. From the minuscule to the mammoth to the miraculous, they're all connected in Barney's Barrier Reef. Searching for the creature with the fishy factor. We're looking for any fishy talent in this ocean. We've cast our net far and wide to find the most seaworthy talents. From animal acrobats, crooning crabs, even dancing dolphins, anyone can enter in the, the Reef's Got Talent. There's an amazing array of talent in the Barrier Reef, and what's more, they're all connected. We've got an amazing show lined up for you tonight. We've got costumes, we've got feats of strength, we've got amazing dance moves that will delight. So don't miss today's show. Get on with it. And of course, we've got our amazing judges, Simon Coral and Danny Manta Ray. Do you like my suit, Simon? 100% no. Oh, uh, well, let's get on with the show. So, without further ado, let's introduce our first act. <laughs> first up today is the amazing fish swimming display team. And to the left, and to the right. And this formation team is made up of thousands of plankton-eating tuna. And they are putting on an amazing display for us here with their lion dancing meets red arrows air display routine. And their talents don't stop there. <laughs> like they're in a huge fishy choir, but actually they're opening their mouths really wide to eat as much as possible. <laughs> Musical and greedy, but you have to admit, Barmy, they have got rhythm. Oh, yes, but their intricate formation dancing is their way of snaffling the plankton. Their movements drive as much plankton as possible into those unfeasibly large mouths. One thing you haven't mentioned, Barmy, is that swimming together in a huge school like this keeps fish safe from potential predators. There's definitely safety in numbers. So, Simon, any interest in signing these guys up? 100% none of your business, Barney. Guys, you are awesome. <laughs> wow, what a start to the show. The reef does have talent. Who's our next contestant? <laughs> Let's welcome to the show our dancing dolphin duo. Well, they've started with a double synchronized jump. Amazing coordination there. <laughs> Looks like they surprised our camera crew. <laughs> They're never disappointing, these fellas. Look at that single, yeah. followed by double water leap. They're certainly as playful as ever. They can reach speeds of up to 25 miles an hour. <laughs> Always an audience favourite, but uh, what does Simon think? Well, that was an incredible performance. <laughs> Well, they've impressed Simon Coral, and we all know that takes some doing. Thanks again to our delectable dolphin duo. Awesome. Like our school of plankton-eating tuna, these guys are great group swimmers. Both contestants are connected by their love of performing together. So, who's our next contestant? <laughs> Now, you may know the parrotfish as dudes who spend their days chopping rocks, foraging for their favourite snack of algae. And with jaws like that, who can blame them? But tonight, they'll be demonstrating a truly hidden talent. Please welcome to the show our next contestant, the tremendous, tangoing parrotfish. Head straight, eyes ahead, Miriam, and turn. What an elegant pair especially considering their rather unpleasant habit of pooing sand. Well, that's understandable with all that rock chomping. Well, they're in perfect symmetry on this number. 
And of course, this routine is their mating dance, so it's something they're both very familiar with, the male leading the female in a traditional fashion. to our wonderful performing parrotfish. Let's go over to our judges to see what they made of their timely tango. Well, I, I thought they were pretty good. Uh, a little old-fashioned, maybe. Um, I'd like to see them try something contemporary next time. I completely disagree. You would. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, Although they may seem different, our performing parrotfish and delightful dolphins are connected by their graceful and elegant dancing style. What an amazing display, but can our next contestant do any better? <laughs> These amphibian-type fish come all the way from the mangroves. Their many talents include telescope-style eye accessories and an ability to fill their gill chambers with water, creating their very own oxygen tank. I wouldn't want to skip this act. <laughs> I think they're limbering up. I don't know quite what to expect. <laughs> amazing! Quite an amazing acrobatic display. He's done a two-leaper, and a three, and a four! They're, of course, using their impressive front pectoral fins to catapult forward. I think it's a form of modern dance. It's very unusual. <laughs> and, of course, this is all a display purely in the name of love. <laughs> Yes, Gemma, love is the inspiration behind these amazing 60-centimeter leaps. And see how they raise their top fin, which gives the leap extra emphasis. <laughs> Quite an unusual act from the mudskippers. <laughs> Not my idea of romance. But uh, what do the judges think? 100% no. Guys, it was a brave attempt. But for me, you need to think more about your costuming. Oh, dear. Not a popular decision with the audience. Well, Dancing for Love got no love from Simon Coral. And just like the Parrotfish duo, the Mudskipper's talent is reserved for that romantic moment. Time for your next reef talent. <laughs> Well, they may be the smallest contestants, but they have a huge talent for camouflage. Bye. <laughs> yes, what is it, Gemma? We're on air. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I can't see them. What do you mean? The next contestants. I can't see them. It's just coral. Oh, no, Gemma, that's part of their act. They have the best disguise in town. Oh, I see. Uh, but that's not why they're here today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome the tiniest trapeze artists in the world, the Pygmy Seahorses! Hey! <laughs> oh, I want to go back! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> it's an incredible display of agility oh. and bravery to trapeze through the water, bearing in mind their tiny size. It takes a lot of strength and should not be underestimated. Especially for something that is the size of a fingernail. Oh, I think he's going for another leap. Oh, you can feel the tension here. Oh, 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 and he's made it! Amazing! Thank you, Pygmy Seahorses. You can stop horsing around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go over to the judges and see what they thought of that performance. I've always liked you guys, and today, you were bonza. <laughs> and it's worth bearing in mind that one small step for us is a giant leap for this little fella. So he is connected to our other athlete, the Mudskipper, through their shared acrobatic ability. OK, it's nearly time for a break, but before we do, let's take a reef cap over our reef talent. First up on today's show were the unforgettable plankton-eating tuna. These guys are just made for performing. Another gang of group dancers were our delightful dolphins. Certainly not camera shy, they rarely fail to disappoint. Inspired by love, our 
passionate parrotfish brought a tear to Danny Manta Ray's eye. For a change. Good to see them taking a break from chomping rock and pooing sand. Another romantic display from our acrobatic mudskippers. They got the thumbs down from Simon, but were an audience favourite. And what about our pygmy seahorses, the cutest trapezists in town? With their camouflage coral, they're a winning combination. <laughs> I think I'll do the jokes here. Uh, uh, why did the whale cross the road? Oh, I don't know. To get to the other tide. Get on with the show. <laughs> Our next contestant is limbering up. It's Brian the Boxer Crab, joining us all the way from the bottom of the ocean. I'm doing this for the anemone. Without their support, I wouldn't be here. A clue to his specialist skill is his anemone pom-poms. He borrows them as he uses the stinging cells of the anemone to ward off predators. And this has culminated in his act today. <laughs> OK, it's time to see him in action. Take it away, Brian the Boxer Crab. Ready? OK. C, R, A, B, carrying the anemones to keep away his enemies. Two, four, six, eight, two, the Y, P, T, eight, the anemone, the anemone, the anemone. Oh, I'm so good. As you said, Barmy, he uses the anemone stinging cells to really good effect here, giving an amazing cheerleading performance. But let's not forget, Cheeky Brian also snacks on the job. He's using those anemones to scrape bits of food off the floor. Adios. <laughs> what a character. Let's see what our judges thought of his performance. Well, it's just not special enough. Uh, my advice would be leave the anemone alone and get on with your life. Oh, oh, controversial. Brian was a crowd pleaser, but he didn't win over Simon Coral. Brian the Boxer Crab is linked to our leaping pygmy seahorses because they're both solo performers. Who else has got talent? <laughs> Well, we have a relative of Brian the Boxer Crab up next, taking part in a completely different field. Derek the Decorator Crab and his incredible stick-on accessories loves his fashion. Whatever. But will this be enough to impress Simon? Derek the Decorator Crab. <laughs> Oh, I'm itching to stick this bit of algae on. Oh, phew, it's on. How many accessories does one crab need? This act just seems to be about him dressing up. Oh, and he's going for the white fluff stick on. I think I just need this bit of white scraggy stuff here. A white ball of random fluff here. Just give it a clean first. Oh, I love dressing up. And of course, these cunning crabs are called decorator crabs because they spend most of their time decorating themselves in bits and pieces of the reef to disguise themselves. And like all our performers, this skill does help him survive in the potentially dangerous ocean world. So his love of accessories allows him to blend in and keeps him disguised from predators. So let's see what our judges made of Derek. You know I like you, Derek, but... I'd have liked to see something new from you. Whatever. Well, you know, I've got to say, Derry, that was... <laughs> utterly dreadful. 100%. Well, Danny likes Derek, but Simon doesn't seem so impressed. Yes, but look at his fashion sense. <laughs> Uh, OK, it's, it's time for... No, no Simon! No, si Simon, come back! You know you're my idol! Both the decorator crab and the boxer crab believe if you don't have it, borrow it. The boxer crab borrows anemones and the decorator crab borrows whatever he can lay his claws on. Who's up next? The colourful cuttlefish have some stunning routines. Ooh. Baby. But today, we're lucky to be joined by a rare species, the only known poisonous cuttlefish in the world. Let's all join together in welcoming our next reef talent, Cuthbert the Cuttlefish. <laughs> Cuthbert is here tonight to demonstrate his awesome, some may say, spooky ability to change colour. 
this is looking promising. OK, he started with some yellow edging colour. I think he might go for the full body transformation. Oh, look, he's added a rippling effect to the yellow trim. <gasps> now that's amazing. And another complete outfit change. I think this is his best performance yet. Oh, yes, more. And his walking movement really helps demonstrate his flashing colours. Very impressive. Of course, this isn't just about looking flashy. He's perfected this skill to help him hide, hunt for prey and ward off predators. Goodbye. Well, the audience love him. Let's see what our judges think. Well, that was by far the best performance of the show. 100%. That was the best performance by far. 100%. Thank you, Danny. Echoing Simon exactly there. Of course, our contestants are connected to each other like all our Barrier Reef guys and gals. And the cuttlefish is no different. His crazy colour change display is a fashionable defence, just like the decorator crab with his amazing accessories. Let's meet our next reef talent. Now, our octopus is a regular on the talent scene with his many superior skills. Eight arms, Ooh. ink bombs, Ooh. superior intelligent brain. Wow. Oliver, <laughs> let's see you in action. And he's getting his siphon ready. I wonder if he's going to treat us to some jet propulsion today. Um, Oliver, you're on. Hey, wake up. <laughs> wake up! Sorry. Wow, it's the jet move and the colour change. Incredible. I wonder if he's peaked or will we see more from this master of camouflage? Another colour change. This time he's imitating a rock. That was seamless. Oh, and look at him go. Oliver uses the red to warn off predators and his white and darker colours when he wants to hide away or has been disturbed. He's mimicking coral. And now algae. Indeed. And for his final trick, ah, uh, maybe he's stretching out for a bit of yoga. He's a born performer. Thank you. A round of applause for Oliver, the octopus. <laughs> Over to you, Simon. 100% yes. Simon almost smiled. What an incredible performance there by our colourful camouflaging octopus. Just like Cuthbert the Cuttlefish, he uses his colour-changing tricks to blend in anywhere. Let's take a look back over our talented reef contestants. He was doing it for the anemone, and today he had she led his heart out an amazing display from Brian the Boxer Crab. Simon wasn't impressed with any of our crab acts tonight. Derek the Decorator Crab took the news hard. I've spent my whole life decorating myself. To be knocked back this way has hit me hard. Was the helico okay? Derek, it was a good performance, but both crabs love to use props instead of their natural skill. So maybe that's what turned the judges against them. But Simon loved our colourful cuttlefish and actually smiled watching Oliver the octopus. Both creatures stunned us with their colour-changing performances. So, who else will impress our judges? It's time to find more talented creatures on the reef's got talent. <laughs> Ah, camera, I'm here. Hello, look at me. I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's no problem. What's a camera between stars? And there's a few members of this family performing tonight and all have those prominent sticky-up ears that give them their name. Can you guess who the next reef talent is? I'll give you a clue. They'd better hurry up. In that case, welcome the Sea Hairs. Hello. Good eye, Mike. Hello. I can hear you. Oh, some sliding about happening here. Of course, the Sea Hair is a mollusk like snails and clams. But the Sea Hair hasn't got an outside shell to protect itself. Oh, what was that? Believe it or not, gorgeous Gemma, it was a poo cannon. He can fire his poo. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So, will the sea hare impress with his rather dirty habits? Anticipation is at an all-time high here on the Reef's Got Talent. What's happened? It seems that we've lost the contestant. He's disappeared in a puff of red smoke. Oh, what an illusionist! This is his rare red algae-eating defence trick. 
If sea hares nosh on red algae, they can squirt out red oh, and no. purple smoke and look like they've vanished as an act of self-defense from predators. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amazing. I'd even say hair-raising. <laughs> Listen, I've told you, I'll do the jokes. Uh, let's go over to our judges. Well, you shouldn't be in this show. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. You should win this show. The best performance tonight. 100%. Thank you for that, Simon. I'm sure the Sea Hair family will be delighted with that. Thanks. Awesome. And of course, this remarkable colourful display connects them to our colour-changing octopus, Oliver. So, can our next contestant compete? He's the length of a pencil, but has the best eyesight in the animal kingdom. I'm not ready yet. But he's refusing to perform until he's completed his spring cleaning. Like all shrimps, he's totally obsessed by tidying up. But it looks like he's gearing himself up. Rumours are we might get to see his right hook today. Mr. Mantis Shrimp clubs his victims to death with a punch as powerful as a 22 caliber bullet. I think he's ready for action. So, tonight, he's demonstrating his talent for super power punching. In the red corner, we have Super Shrimp. In the blue corner, we have Courageous Crab. Round one. Shrimp gets in there, but Courageous is braver than he looks. Good left hook, Courageous. Round one to Courageous Crab. Round two. Ooh, Super Shrimp delivers a painful blow. Crab hanging on in there. What stamina this young fellow has. Oh, what's this? It's all over. Courageous Crab has had enough of this onslaught. Shrimp is left with the prize, the crab's right pincer. Wow, how did he do that? He's a shrimp. He has his very own extendable club on his arm. This weapon can shoot out and knock his victims out cold. An amazing display from our mini mantis shrimp. Oh, Danny, are you OK? Um, it seems Danny's a little squeamish, so I'll, I'll deliver both verdicts. Um, very hard-hitting, and uh, for once, I'll agree with Barmy. Very impressive for a shrimp. Yeah. Talk about impressive firing techniques. We've had the sea hare who fires purple ink at enemies and a superbly strong mantis shrimp who fires his own personal club. What a talent. Who's up next? Oh, well, hang on. It's Oliver again. Sorry, one performance only. Rules is rules. Uh, Barmy, it's not Oliver the octopus. It's Olivia the octopus. Are you sure? It looks very similar. Well, there's nothing in the rules to say you can't have two octopuses competing. Olivia has a completely different act. Yay! I am Olivia. <laughs> Prepare to be less speechless, Simon. <laughs> well, this had better be good. <laughs> She's going for the cola bottle. She's not oh. going to get in there. <sighs> Oh, yes, she is. She squeezed herself through a hole the size of a little fingernail. This is an incredible act of contortionism from Olivia here. I must say, it does look a bit painful. Well, luckily, octopuses are amazingly flexible. They're boneless, apart from their beak. Beak? Is she a bird as well? <laughs> oh, it's so funny, Barmy. The beak is used to kill prey. Oh. But because the rest of her body is bendy, skillful octopuses like Olivia can squeeze through the tiniest spaces. For something with no skeleton, she's very muscular. But what you may not know is that she's also one of the most intelligent animals in the ocean. <laughs> I'm a genius. Yay! And she seems to have won the judges over. Great performance, but Olivia, you're just too cocky for me. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Ignore him, Olivia. You've earned your cockiness. That was out of this world. So it's top marks for Olivia and her amazing cola bottle contortionist oh. trick. She's really demonstrated amazing body power, just like our mantis shrimp. Oh, hey! Ah, well, what a great ending to the show. Uh, before we announce the winner, let's take a look back at the contestants of The Reef's Got Talent. What about our first contestants, the School of Plankton-Eating Tuna? Amazing, awesome, bonza. 
and our delightful dolphins. Always super confident and they always deliver. Who can resist? Well, not Simon, that's for sure. Incredible performance. But Danny fell for our passionate parrotfish with their tremendous tango dance. So beautiful. Our muddy mudskipper also loves to dance for love, but Simon wanted to skip this performance. Dreadful. The pygmy seahorses leapt with true bravery. A short distance for mankind, but a long distance leap for these little fellas and won Danny's heart. They were bonza. <laughs> Another solo performer was Brian the Boxer Crab. Simon had a very strong opinion on our cheerleading crab contestant. Get a life. Cuthbert borrows reef props to perform just like Derek the Decorator Crab, who covers himself in reef accessories, but neither impressed our judges today. Nothing new. Sorry, guys. Next up, our camouflaging, colour-changing cuttlefish. What a creative spirit, but don't bite, as his trick will make you sick. Yes, our poisonous cuttlefish caused quite a stir, as did Oliver the Octopus with his miraculous colour changes. 100% yes. I'd sign you on the spot. The sea hare, he cleared the studio with his red algae smoke bomb. One puff and he appeared to disappear. Incredible. Quite the magician. But for true power, our mantis shrimp was magnificent, even if Danny felt faint for all the wrong reasons. Ha <laughs> ha, but she's OK now. And with a punch as fast as a speeding bullet, I'd say no crab is safe. Yes, we've kept Cuthbert and Derek well away from the mantis shrimp, just to be on the safe side. Olivia, another octopus, and what a contortionist, giving David Blaine a run for his money. This gal squeezed through a hole the size of a fingernail. Simon thought she was overconfident. This had better be good. But what a performance. Olivia, you really pushed through. I think we can certainly say from that display, the Reef really has got an amazing array of talents. Wouldn't you agree, judges? Yes, for once, I'm going to agree with you, Barney. Some class acts on today's show. Thanks to all our contestants, it's time to announce the winner. Here we go. <laughs> <gasps> Olivia the Octopus! Congratulations! Oh, well done, Olivia. Oh, she's in shock. <laughs> well, it's been an amazing show. And to play us out, here are some of the judges' favourite contestants. Awesome.